Hi, it's Jeff with Family Legacy again with another video. Uh, this particular video is going to be about grading uh, services as it pertains to coins. Uh, what, and what, what does a grading service really provide? Uh, because of the process of grading a coin is can be very expensive. Okay, so when you're buying a graded coin, you're going to be paying for that grading service. And they can range anywhere from, you know, eight or ten dollars for the grade to, you know, fifty dollars. So, um, does it really pay for itself to buy a graded coin? And I, my, the answer is it depends on what coin you're, you're buying. Uh, this particular coin I'm going to share with you today is a, a Chinese panda. It's a 2020 one ounce silver uh, panda. And it's been graded by NGC. Okay, that particular coin, it's not rare. It doesn't have a high uh, numismatic value. Okay, but there is a proliferation of fake coins that are being made by uh, unscrupulous people in China. So that's one of the values of grading is that you can get uh, a certainty that the item you're buying is real. Okay, it's been untampered with, unaltered, and that's really what the, the, the value of the grading services is. Now, this particular one, and what's a new thing in the market you're going to see is they put, you know, different labels and they can have customized labels on them. To me, anybody that's paying extra for a certain label is crazy, okay? That's a quick way to waste money that you can invest in uh, other collectibles just to pay a little bit more for, for custom holders. But uh, overall, grading services do serve a purpose. I, I would tend to buy coins that are graded that are older to make sure they haven't been cleaned, uh, whizzed, whatever the case may be. Um, but I certainly want to make sure they're authentic. Uh, newer coins, uh, again, a one ounce panda, probably worth about $20 now with the, because it's been graded, it probably costs $30 to buy. Uh, probably not that good an investment to pay another 50% more value uh, toward the coin just because it's been graded when it's something that's not that rare. So, um, you know, be aware of what you're looking to buy. You know, does it make sense to, to buy a graded coin? Uh, and, you know, make your best decision. Raw coins can be a great way to go as well. You just got to understand what the grading services, what kind of service they're providing to you if you're going to buy a graded coin. Hopefully this is a helpful video. Keep tuned in and you'll see additional informative videos on collectibles. Thanks.